And there it is. Stairbox. These guys, you literally design your staircase online and they deliver it in a box or in multiple boxes. It's quite exciting, really. The Merc was here, waiting for him to move, oh, right. and the van got behind me, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we go. Staircase in a box. This will be the way you walk up the steps, up this way. And you come round up this way. So we've got to build that bit. Kites and the winders, up in there, newel posts. That's wedges in here, yeah? Yeah, you've done the wedges in here. That's alright, mate. It's quite a nifty look. They cut the spindles at the correct angle for us. So it's perfect. So it's basically just a big puzzle. Got to put it together. Your post caps, wedges. It's good. So these are the new posts. They come finished, they've got nice rounded edges. All the routing there is done. Makes it really nice and easy to fit. So we're just eyeing things up now. We'll start getting it in. So we take these out. Once we know exactly where the staircase is, we can cut this and then put these back in. Just saves any guesswork. Doesn't take long to get them out or to get them back in. Lifted it up now. Yeah, but push it to the wall. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to push it to the wall. There. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Still hold it. All right, just to show you what we're up to here. We are bracing this temporarily up in place just to make our life easier to get it in, getting it on. So we've just put these timber posts here, temporarily braced with timber locks. Chris has just gone to get the last timber locks. We ran out, it's a bit of a pain, but these things happen. And then we can secure it in properly. Yeah, that'd be great, if you can. Thanks, mate. Get these posts on. What we've done is we've raised the whole, this kind of scaffold that we've got, we've raised the whole thing up. We're just roughly getting it in line, putting the posts on now. 
Okay. Put these here. Yeah. Tight, as usual. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, they do draw bore holes, don't they? So it pulls it in tight when they. Where's my knife? Your knife? Yeah. Don't you? You can use my one. High quality Irwin one. Uh -huh. Just don't damage the blade, all right? Okay. The four by two. A short one. Yeah. So we have a big gap there, and those draw bore holes are a long way out, like way too much out, but we are completely tight on that ball nose there. So I'm not sure if that's a defect in the CNC routing. Yeah. No, no need to hammer. Nice. Just put a wedge underneath straight away. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but we're, we're slightly out of square. Sorry, we're slightly out of level here, which is fine for now because we're also out of, out of plumb. That's where our post is gonna be and we're about 80 mils over. So we're gonna be able, we're going to, here's the plan. We're gonna put this stringer on up here. Once we've put that stringer on, we are gonna put the post on and we're gonna see how much room we need to come this way, and then we're just gonna bring the whole thing over here. We've got plenty of space under here. You know, there's a 100 mil there, which we knew we'd have to play with, to then bring it, bring this across, and there'll just be a little gap there. But we can fill that and pack that, up, pack that out there, and shunt the whole thing across, and it will lift it and bring it in nice and flat and level. behind you. Yeah. yeah. No, they're not all the same. That's. Huh? They should be the same. Joints on the way. I need to cut this off. Yeah? It's not
Another yeah. one at the back. Huh? Another wedge at the back. That's the space for the other wedge. Yeah. I want to put this one in first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm not struggling. Fine. Cool, so we'll just snip those off with the multi-cutter and then we've got to put this one in yeah. and then we've got to bolt the stringer to the wall. No longer Joyce. Okay, this is the kind of first part initially done. Obviously we've got the gap there that we need to bridge a little bit which we'll be doing anyway, we're going to put some timbers across at an angle and the plasterboard just going to run flush there. And this is all starting to look like a proper staircase and we'll be able to take these braces up. We're going to be bolting these through into the wall here, levelling it up, squaring it up and everything. It's going to be nice. It's looking really good. Obviously that gap there will get closed up as we lift it. It's going to lift up this way and go across. Right, so staircase is finished. Look at that beautiful flush finish. This is being carpeted here and here. So there is a slight lip, slight lip, but that is as near as dam as they say and this will go carpet straight down the stairs nice and tight up on here now there is an issue with this and it was to do with the way that it was measured and there is an issue but the, the client is actually happy with it so from the client's point of view it's okay from our point of view it's not ideal but we've done the best that we can to re uh, remediate it there is quite a big gap here now this gap here is exactly the thickness of two of these stringers so what's happened is when it was measured they asked for the stair width and I believe what was meant to have happened is that you take the stair width and you add on the width of the stringers and that that obviously got lost in translation at some point or wasn't made clear on the website wasn't understood it, no, nobody is apportioning blame or anything. It's not. It's not a situation like that. But it, it's a bit of a shame from our point of view because it would have been nice to have it fully tight up against the wall. As it is, what we've done is we've packed it out with two by fours. Let me turn these lights on. We've packed it out with two by fours and uh, seven by twos. So you can see we've got a seven by two packed up in here, and we can then take this off. And all of this will get hidden in plaster anyway. And then what we've done is where we've, we've packed it out and then we have used huge M12 bolts that are 150 mil long and we've used a cement adhesive here that sets completely rock solid and we've driven them into the wall all the way along down here and we're going to do some more up here as well. It is completely solid and stable. It's perfectly level and flat and upright. And it is completely solid. I mean, you know, I weigh nearly 100 kilos. There is no flex, no bounce, no movement. There's nothing. It's really solid. It just means there is that kind of 65, 70 mil gap there, which we're going to finish with a capping on top. And, and actually, it's fine. Um, the client, he's been great about it, actually. It's just a shame from our point of view that it wasn't able to get in properly. But aside from that, and a few other little niggles here and there. Point to note, if you are fitting a stair box staircase, anytime you've got these risers and they're on the angles, so on the kites and on the winders, they oversize them and you have to cut them down to size. And then you have to kind of wedge them in, force them in. So that's something to be aware of. Other than that, it was really quite simple to fit except for the fact that the walls were not square either so you have to square the staircase in and of itself and then finish fitting it and all the rest of it so yeah a couple of a couple of well one one error there which was a measurement error not a staircase error fitting wise otherwise it was absolutely fine and you know this finished floor height to finished floor height was was bang on 
the length of it from there down to there was pretty good as well. So yeah, it, stair box is good. I would definitely use them again. I, I you know, it was it was good fitting it. The parts came and they, you know, in the main fitted really really well. A couple of little bits on site kind of carpentry that you need to do. So yeah, that's the staircase fitted. We are just finishing the plasterboard down the stairwell now. We've put the stairs in as you'll have seen, but we're plasterboarding here. And I just want to show you. This is the reason why you build on the inner wall plate. This is the reason why you build on the inner wall plate and not the outer wall plate. Look at this, smooth, flat, flush finish all the way down, which the plasterer can now skim over the whole way up. If you build on the outer wall, outer wall plate, fine, you might gain a little bit of extra space inside the room, but you'll end up with a step here that then goes up because obviously you've got your inner wall plate that you then have to cover and all the rest of it. So that's why we always build on this one here because it's nice and smooth and flush the whole way down with no step the whole way around like that. All right, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the attention to detail that Chris and I like to show. Chris has measured and cut this plasterboard. Now we're gonna slide in, it's a slightly awkward position, but That is perfect. Raise it up, screw it in. The plaster is a happy man. So this is the final look on this bit here. All the way down, we've glued and just, those screws are just holding those wedges in place. Polyurethane, as you can see, expands and it was actually pushing them off, but so we just held them loosely in place with those screws. It's nice and secure. This, we've put the timber the whole way along, all the way up, and the second fixed team, who are gonna be coming in a couple of weeks, they can then float over that and hide the gap. That's absolutely fine, all the way up, and they'll also have the skirting board that runs from there, so that's good. Well, the plasterboard is done. The windows are gonna be coming in the next week hopefully, obviously with COVID-19 there's been quite a delay on when things are available and uh, the windows, well one of them sadly. Velux has gone in, plasterboards, you saw all of that. So that's me finished on this job. I'm not going to be coming back again on this job. It's going to be finished by the other guys. I've got another job to go to which I'm really excited to show you. Really, really excited because it is going to be my build. So that's great. I'll be starting that very shortly. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, and if you're a new subscriber to the channel, thank you very much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you on another video. Please do comment, like, subscribe, and share.